In China, video cards from manufacturers that do not cooperate with Nvidia and AMD have appeared in mass. The market is flooded with a huge flow of various Chinese non-name video cards. Moreover, in addition to little-known brands, desktop video cards based on mobile GPUs are also added. Where does all this come from and can such decisions be trusted? Let's start in order. You bought yourself a new laptop with an Nvidia RTX 3070 GPU. Use it for 7 months and then your device fails. For some unknown reason, you put all this stuff in a box and took it for repair. The service center registers that the product is not repairable, that it is being changed or that the money is being returned to you. Then the service center sends the defective product to the manufacturer. The vast majority of companies in China put their defective products up for auction, in a certain amount. People from the street cannot participate in such auctions, only companies that have passed a number of bureaucratic nuances and gained access to such transactions are allowed. After that, such offers start coming to the mail of these companies, and in response, those interested send their price to the seller. And after such a deal, your non-working laptop, among a bunch of other similar ones, falls into the hands of Jisha O oh as an example. Next, everything working from the motherboard is soldered out, the processor, video chip, memory chips, other useful chips and semiconductors. They order Textolite for a desktop video card in a cooling system, unsolder all the elements on a new basis, and start actively testing the resulting miracle. After passing the tests, branded stickers are slapped on this creation and sent for sale. This procedure is performed by desktop video cards, motherboards, smartphones, and a bunch of other electronics. Mobile processors adapt to ATX sockets, old smartphones get a second life under new Chinese brands, and much more. The problem is that you don't know what condition components will come across specifically in your instance. For example, among the RX 400 500 and GTX 1000 video cards, there were models in which there was no cooling on memory chips at all, even if a conscientious gamer had such an instance, memory chips under load without proper cooling gradually degrade, and there is a chance that memory from this particular execution will be installed on your instance. Or maybe vice versa, your video card will have all the chips completely new, without traces of operation, here, as they say, a real lottery.